good? What's good? Back with a new video, and I am pissed. I just recorded five minutes of this video that I'm trying to do right now, and my mic wasn't on. I'm pissed. I just went over some great things talking about the Mobile One issues, the issues that are in the game that everybody ignoring. I just talked about how I just was ratting on you dudes that spotting up and setting picks on how you coming into people chat, telling them that they don't know what they're doing. Oh, they tucked this year. So let me start over from, from the beginning, man. I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot, bro. I just did five minutes. Five minutes. And my mic not on? I'm over here like this. Look, I'm still recording. My mic is not moving. No green light. Hot, boy. I'm hot. So we're going to get into this. Brutus Sim just dropped a, a video, man, about the Mobile One. We just had the Mobile One event, the first event of 2K23. I was telling y'all just a minute ago of me recording with no mic on. Fucking piss. Five minutes, bro. I'm rolling. You know how I get. I'm rolling. I'm hitting some great points. When you're talking about something that really matters, sometimes you may not be able to recite it the way that you recited the first time with the passion. I had great passion. I had great information I was giving you. Hopefully, I'm able to recite it. Mobile One just dropped. I was explaining to you how it was horrible for me and my friends. We, we tried an hour to get to play the Mobile One. We could not get all three of us in there at the same time, man. We ended up playing two games separately. So we had three friends. Two of us was able to get in there. One always be left out. We tried this for an hour. Finally, I said, bro, I just want to play it one time and see what it is. So me and one of the friends, we got in. We had a good, decent random. He was amazing. We could have stayed with that random, but it was like, nah, bro, we got to go back and get the homie. He said he's ready. We backed out. We tried another 30 to 40 minutes, bro. He still can't get in there. I said, bro, let's try. Let's just play one more game, and I'm going to get off this stuff. I started my screen up, played three games of the theater. Then the mobile one came out, and I sat there for an hour and a half. Could not play with my friends. I look and see on Twitch, YouTube, there are people that are playing the mobile one. There are some event winners. And I'm saying to myself, how did was they able to play and I wasn't? How could for an hour and a half, me and my friends could not get into the same event. Me and my friends go out, come in, load up, close out, go out, come in. Yo, two of us made it, one ain't, I right, back out. Let's go through the left door. Let's go through the right door. Bro, we tried this for so long and it just wasn't successful. I ended my screen. I said, bro, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I, this stuff is slowly taking me away from 2K23. The VC prices are crazy to make a bill. On top of that, you know what I was looking in the comment section on the last video? On top of that, you got to buy animations one time, but you still got to buy them. And don't, listen, you still got to understand. Yes, your animated, animation, you get to keep those. But what if you make a center for your first bill and then you make a guard for your second bills? You're not going to have the same animation. You got to buy the animations again. On top of that, my career, nothing about the game earns you a great deal of VC. So it's like, man, there's so much going on with 2K, bro. And, you know, I was on the bandwagon and saying this is the greatest 2K ever. I was on that wagon. But as I'm slowly coming down off my honeymoon stage, and I don't know when other people are going to come down off their honeymoon stage, but I know right now, I'm still, I, I'm, I'm still there, but I'm not how I was. This game is still, if I had to rate it 1 out of 10, I'd give it a 7 right now. I had it at a 9. I went down to 8 after a week. Right now, the game, you know, the events are coming out. The glitches have been here. 2K seemed to pass though, reverted some of the glitches, but there are still a lot of glitches that's got through the door. A lot of glitches that I missed out on, you know. But, um, so the, I rate the game right now as a seven. But, man, 
we're gonna look at brute talk about this um over one man and we're gonna see you know how other people feel the, felt about it man i know for me and my audience we had over 200 people in here and i couldn't give them no gameplay so i was just like bro i gotta give them something let's play a couple games i played two games tried to get the homie in couldn't get a homie in i just got off i just got off i didn't want to waste any more time of the people that was came there to see me play the game see me play mobile one try to win it i didn't have a chance I didn't have a chance to even compete, letting alone win it. But before I go to this video, I want to mention you dudes that are coming into my chat. And I see you going into other people's chats. I be in the chilling, and then I see people come in. Man, it looked like the guards that was booming years before are tough this year. Coming from a dude that sit corner and set picks. If you don't play guard this year, Coming from a dude that guarding ball, lockdown, never losing any bars unless he reaches and jump. Coming, if you don't play guard this year, what are you talking about? People are tough. You was tough. You have a every, every year your job is very limitless, minimals. You don't do, you don't do as much as the guard have to do to create and set these things up. When you have a restriction called adrenaline bars holding you back, and you got to learn how to deal with those. It's not an easy task. But I wanted to show you and say this. Yes, we might be having a tough time. But at the end of the day, we still better than most of you dudes that all you do. And I'm not talking to my dudes that understand they roll and know that, you know, you spying up as a roll. You setting picks as a roll. You playing lock as a roll. I'm not ta I'm talking to the dudes that out here that do these things, but trying to shit on the guards that are having a tough time figuring this thing out. I want to show you something as a as a dude that plays guard dealing with bars that are constantly holding them back constantly somehow i'm losing bars when i'm not even like i'm, I'm hitting to, i tap turbo a damn whole bar gone i'm still shooting 55.4 i'm still shooting 55.4 from the three that is high this year now there are some guys shooting high 60 but if you a good player this year, you shooting high 50s, low 60s. And, and at the end of the day, it ain't too many dudes shooting high 50s, high 60s that's ISOing. I'm an ISO player, still an ISO player in 2K23, even though I got these bars holding me back, grabbing at my ankles, telling me, yo, slow down, stop. I'm still at an 84 win percentage, 83.9. I'm at a 55-3, 60 from the field. I done played 300 some games. I got 4,500 4, points, 900 assists. You feel me? I only got 191 turnovers, but of course, you lockdowns, you wouldn't know a thing about that. Once again, you just hit square and you get the ball. It takes so long to get unpluggable. You lockdowns just come out there and, and take some. You feel me? So I'm I'm not I'm not saying that. You know, for my guys that know their roles and you ain't like I'm talking to simply I'm talking to these dudes that out here trying to act like they got a hard job at 2K23. What are you what, what are you doing that's complicated? You spawn up in the corner, you spawn up at the wing, you playing lockdown that you can run for unlimited time. I got bars on the uh, this dribbler that's holding me back. You a center, you sand pick. Like, no disrespect to my dudes that know they roll and know they're just like. You know your role, I know my role. But my role is difficult. Your role is, is real easy. Just, just, let's be honest. You ain't doing nothing with the bars, bro. If you ain't got the bars ain't 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 hindering you at all, then your job is not hard in 2K23. I just want to say that and I'm gonna move forward, man. I just wanna let you some of you dudes know, bro, stop it. You still fucking the the, the nigga that ain't doing too much on the court, no way. Some of you niggas are spotting up and can't even shoot. Imagine being a spot up and still can't shoot. I'm not talking to the ones that, you know, fuck with me or, or, or I don't, ain't out here with the mindset that guards are tough. I still got a better win percentage than most of you niggas. I still shoot better than most of you motherfuckers. So, like, you the one that's struggling, you got a fucking... 80 some, 90 some three ball, you wide open and you still can't shoot. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. So, um, that's that.
Now let's get into this video. This mobile one, man. Let's talk about this mobile one because I did not have a great um a turnout for this mobile one event. And I want to know if the community, and I know Brew gonna let me know if the community had a great turnout. It's a new 2K out, another year to make some moves, another year for drama, another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate that y'all can't. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the bases. You gon' learn. He gon' teach you how to win. He gon' touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the This nigga to be... This nigga be having the tunes, don't it? <laughs> this nigga got the tunes, don't it? All in the fourth, LeBron James. LeBron James. Fire don't know. Probably one of the best intros on 2K. Like, I will say, he probably have, like, you know, he have a lot of intros. He change up yearly. He probably in top five of intros. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Yeah, let me know in the comment section at this point right here. You right here. Go down and hit that like button. Sub up. And in the comment section, let me know who y'all and who intros are fire. Who y'all like? I know Brutus Hill intro is fire. Um, let's see. Who intros are really hot like that? I can't think of Jay Z got a nice intro. You know what I'm saying? I like the Gym Star intro. Um, it's not a lot of intros that just catch your attention. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, the dog nigga he be like, oh, you know, it ain't something that I. Fuck with, but I find it funny. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, come on and yell and oh, you know, I find that real funny. So, but intros, y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Who intros are y'all popping with, dog? Your boy Bruto him on the scene with Wicked and mean with a next, next video. video for y'all, man. Uh, so y'all know what it is by now. Take some time. I'll bless some people boy, like of the video. Definitely make sure you know always keep your I never say this because everybody that knows me know that, you know, you know, Brute. Because, I mean, of course, in this community, you, you, I mean, it's, it's very rare. So I really never say, you know, I never put the links, but I always, hey, man, y'all make sure y'all go like and sub. And I need to start putting the links. I'm, I'm going to do that, too. So I'm going to start doing that. So you can just click on the link and it'll take you straight to their video and like it instead of you have to search and all that. So I'm going to do that. I will have the link in the description, man, for y'all to go like this video. Make sure if you support me, support anybody. Even though there are people that I react to, I don't fuck with. I still make sure I like their video because I know they're doing us a service by entertaining us. You know, and we're going to react to it. Everybody wins. So, you know, make sure y'all like the video. Up to date on everything in the 2K community. I know we gotta start the video off the right way by bringing a huge shout out to the Blue Squad. Anyone y'all got a notification bell unlocked, come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang of Blue Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now we're gonna start off here with some tips and tricks. Actually, some shooting tips from Mike Wayne. Now I want y'all to try this out, especially if you're struggling shooting. A lot of people glad for the a lot of people are struggling shooting. So <laughs> I'm seeing people saying very late. And I don't know if Brute about to mention this, but I'm seeing, I seen on Twitter with Mike Wayne saying something about very late is, is the easiest one. And, and he surprised more people not using very late. And I was like, damn. A lot of people thinking that this early, very late has something to do with your shot meter. No, it just, it, 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 it gives you an idea on where you want to release your, 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 the shot. You know, like, it don't make your jump shot slow. I mean, that's not, not shot meter. I meant to say a lot of people think it have make their jump shot slow or fast. No, it's about where you want to release it. You can control very early, early, late, or very late. Like, you can control where you want to release it. And from what Mike Wayne said, he said very late is a good option. And he surprised a lot of people not using it. Because I seen dudes said very late, as soon as you release it, or you see his hand or some shit, you release it and let it go. And he should green it every time. Sand is pretty easy, but I don't know. Jump shots that I've been helping y'all with. I'm pretty much glad for the shooting tips that I've been helping y'all out with. On Mike Quinn dropping a little nugget here that y'all might want to try out. Now, he did reply to a previous tweet that was actually later deleted. But he left this tweet up. He said, I was surprised to see few people using very late time right. in see? the poll now. I 
I know if you're and, on a poll, he was talking about, but he did. I remember I voted early on that poll. Low, I used early. And most of the people selected early in terms yeah. of what you know settings they have their shot. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think early is like normal, you know. So for me, I had it on late to start the year off. I can hit with it on late, but I got some guys that I play with. They said they use late, so I'm I think it's just a preference. Right. But the lease was actually late. Fair enough. Now he said he. Speaking of the mobile one, I'm looking at this video and I, and I'm realizing like, so Brute was able to get his whole team in there. I see Jay's, I see Gambit. Like that's you know like it's 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 so frustrating to try to play an event. You see some people able to play it and then you trying to figure out why it's not working for me. Like, it shit is so frustrating to, to, to see, man. Like, when we was trying to get into a mobile one and we looking on Twitch and we see everybody enjoying themselves playing this mobile one event. And then also, like myself, we seen people struggling to play it and get in. Like, it's so frustrating, bro. So frustrating. He personally find that one the easiest to use, especially in team control modes. Now, we talking about the My NBA, you talking about the, the Play Now, you talking about those type of modes. You're not necessarily talking about the park. Okay. But I will have to say this, though. A lot of people, since the game dropped, been sending me clips of them with low three-point ratings shooting cons I heard... I heard dudes I am splacking up with a 65. I haven't seen the clips. Bruce said he have. I have heard 65. If you really good, I heard 70 borderline. You gonna knock it down. Now, if that's true, you know people are gonna remake bills again. Look at all the reason to. You know what I find so interesting. 2K, we have to make the bill, then go play the game. And if the game doesn't fit for what we think it should, like speed, for an example, no matter how fast your dude is, the game is slow. You see what I'm saying? Like, so you make your bill, then go play the game and figure out what's work and what's don't work. But by the time, you done made the bill. You done spent, I don't know how much money. So you done spent this money to make this bill. And then you find out, oh, I don't need a high three ball. So you go back and make another bill. Then another patch come out. You find out, oh, I don't need a high speed. So it's so crazy, bro, how it all worked. You got to spend that money in order to find out what the mechanics are like. Then you got to go make a real bill. So either way. You losing on the end, 2K gaining. Sister and Greens once is set to late. So if you struggling shooting, now your boy done put out a bunch of shooting tutorials, of course, and, you know, tips and jump shots. That I ain't gonna lie, out. when I first if started 2K23, well, I can pay a bucket. I can pay a bucket to drop for me. Now, I'm four for five. I'm four for four. I'm three for four. I, I'm doing the thing now. Now, if you leave me open, there's a strong chance I'm going to burn your ass. Burn your ass. Also, I found out how to create my own shots and still hit. And like I said, that's the thing that guards are struggling with. We have to create our shots and shoot the ball. And we know the old bars are not treating the ball handler well after you create your shot. The catch and shoot is the best option in this game. And for some of you niggas out there struggling catching and shoot, it can really be detrimental to the team, bro. Like, come on, we need you to hit these. Still struggling right now, you might want to try out the late settings. Now, someone actually replied to him and asked him this question. He said, why would I turn it from early to late? Hmm. If I know my jumper cues, what benefits would I get? Do the jumper shot cues differ from my career to wreck? That's like a bar. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Now he basically re responded and said, You do you, my G. You do you. I'm just recommending something. Now he said, If you're shooting well with early, just leave it. That, and that's the thing, too. Like, I got my shot meter on in 2K23, and I think I'm gonna have it on all year. Guys that come to my chat, 
help me understand this. <clears throat> and this is go back to the mindset that people have. You want me to be good in the game. I'm doing something that is making me be successful. You say, yo, turn your shot meter off for none. Why would you want me to turn my shot meter off if I'm four for five, five for five, three for three, three for four, two for three, two for two? Why you want me to change something that is working? Do you really want the person you're watching to be successful or do you want them to be successful the way that you want them to be? I'm doing what you want. I'm winning the game. I'm playing teamwork and defense. I'm doing my stuff. Do you want me to change it? I don't understand. Help me out with that. And I know some of the guys joke about it, you know, like they make jokes, but at the end of the day, bro, why would I change it if it's working? There is no competitive advantage from one set to the next. It's purely preference and what works best for you and what cues you look for. Now, I just think he's saying, yo, you do you, much. I just made a recommendation. If you right. want to try it, try it. If you don't, right. I agree. I think that's basically what he's saying, too. It. Again, a lot of people don't, I don't see a lot of clips. I'm being sent a lot of clips of people with low three-point rate and hitting consistently once it's set to late in fact i think i already put one of the videos in one of my previous news videos mm. your boy usually i'm gonna have to go check that out everything. y'all know what it is man and nothing passes your boy broke and mm -hmm. i don't let y'all know right now there was an event yesterday oh let's get oh, into this event i ain't gonna lie to you because i want to know how you were able to play brute and i want to know how i had to play with just one of the homies for two games and had to end my screen how you get in, bro? Let us know, bro. How did you get into this event, dog? You got some connection? Can you help a brother out next time the event come around, dog? Can you help me out, dog? I'm trying to play it too, bro. Yo, that was stressful. I spent most of the time. We spent most of the time trying to get into the game, but. So he had the same issue. The time we got in, I know how these boosters get in early. It seems like the system always worked best for them. But people like me who are trying to play, honestly, when we go in there, we get booted, we get arrow yeah. codes, we <laughs> couldn't team up. It's we go through it, don't it? It was just a cluster messed up. Yo, I'm looking at the gameplay and I'm listening to him. Do y'all notice how powerful fast breaks are in 2K23? Fast breaks are so crazy that most people are beating you simply off of fast break buckets. Shooting is so hard for some that if you're constantly missing, lunch, easy too. If somebody get in front of you, you're not blocking them. The chances of blocking somebody from behind is very slim. So they get that fast break. It's a man ahead. You trying to chase him down. Go ahead and count the two points or get the three. It's a GG. I'm not going to use the word that I want to use because I want to keep my monetization of my videos. <laughs> but yes, it was a frustrating day yesterday for you. So, I ain't going to lie. So everybody was struggling trying to play this the event. I was playing with wasn't able to make it for, to four because I'm a point guard, but they're not. But they were on their way if we made it when we were supposed to, man. Wow. Now, the thing with... The new format that it kind of integrated the old with the new. They allow everyone who finishes to get a lot of good rewards, but at the same time, they still got their top three finish. They brought it back. Mm. Now, I said in the the top three finish. Come on, two K. You know you have a boosting problem. You know this. It's like. You let things constantly keep coming back that you know you have an issue with. Boosters, post scoring, fades. How do you constantly make these mistakes year after year after year after year? Come on. Pass. That this facilitates cheating, right? Hmm. Now there is incentives to people boosting again. Now, a lot of people was upset that, you know, damn near everyone was getting the rewards in NBA 2K22. Right, But the I thing agree. is, because there were rare rewards before, the people that was getting the rare rewards was only the boosters. Now, okay, I don't know that's true. how these people boost. That's true. I really don't. I, I, I will admit, 
if I'm grinding seven days a week and you playing two times a day, two times a week, me and you shouldn't get the same rewards. I will admit, I'm one of those guys. But at the same time, I do agree with Brute on the fact that if the motherfucking boosters are the only ones that are going to get it, then God damn it, give it to me too. How do I defeat boosters? How? How do we defeat boosters? How do we get ahead of cheaters? How? <laughs> damn near impossible when it comes to this. But it's for some way, somehow, where there's a will, there's a way. They always find ways to cheat. Just now, like the glitches. Leaks and Intel tweet this out. He said 2K needs to start banning people that boost events. You got to start bringing down hardcore punishments. It's the only way it's going to stop. But then you ask yourself, do you ban your money? Do you go out here and tell somebody stop giving you money as a business? Or do you just slap them on the hand and say, hey, stop that? No. I need your money, but you stop that. As well, because it's literally almost impossible to not win without boosting first few months. You said first few months. I said throughout the entire year because these boosters do it. Time all day, time, every day, every event, back. never going to change. They start charging people if they want these helmets. Like, yo, if you need that. I remember that, bro. I remember when guys was playing on other guys' account, boosting for them, winning events for them. Big YouTubers, big Twitch streamers. You know I know. You know I know. Come on now. I'm in the mix too. I just don't give away all my resources. You know I know, right? Mm. That helmet, bro, just <laughs> ride with us. We gonna boost and get it to you, bro. And that's just mm. crazy how yes, they do that, that is crazy. That's a business within the 2K community. And this has been happening for a while. So when they actually removed that, I was like, okay, so now people not gonna boost as much because guess what? Everyone wants you finish everyone gets the trophy unfortunately in this situation this is what you gotta put into place because it limits people who actually is playing it the right way from actually getting the rewards Thanks. but people who decide to go above and beyond to cheat get rewarded in the current system mm. in place that now again true. i don't know how everyone was having stability issues and error codes but for some reason the boosters always have a way. They don't have no issue to do it. And it's able they get right on in that motherfucker. Cheat and not get even get punished for it. Now, now Lake of Fan actually tweeted this out. He said he would have finished top three if not for the geek ass boosters. He said, love that ass that, that shit, right? He said, love that shit. And now when you look at him, I think he's like in sixth place or something like it. He said, the worst part is. I think these dudes already won the first one or at least one or two of them. Now, they're going to keep winning these events because they know how to do it. Wow. You can say what you and want. And see, you that's the thing about the boosters. They don't just get it one time and get out the way and let somebody else get a turn. They just constantly have that greed. I got to get it all. The greed just is overwhelming. The overwhelming greed is unfucking believable. You want it. Can you let somebody else? It's just like, bro, I was playing against this post score and I might put this video. I might put this video up. Then again, I don't even want to see that shit. I asked him, bro. I said, bro, can I just get the ball one time? I'm playing in the stage 1v1. I'm playing against this post scorer, bro. I asked him. I said, can I just get it one time? The nigga said, I don't play with my food. Bro, the game just fucking came out. I'm battling with these fucking bars. As you see, I done lost 57 games, bro, already. Already done lost 57 games. Now, I haven't lost a red game. I got lagged out. You know how 2K do. And... To be honest, I haven't lost 57 games. I think oh, I got nine error codes, man. If you watch my Twitch, you'll know, bro. The game be kicking me out 
bruh, for no reason, bruh. I don't be doing shit. Somehow I'm on the sideline, my teammates still playing. So I haven't lost 57 games, but, you know, people ain't gonna fucking remember none of that. Nobody gonna care that you got lagged out. They're just gonna say, hey, you got 57 losses. So I'm playing against his post score, bro. He constantly doing the hook shot cheese. This shit green every time. I said, bro, can I get it one time? The nigga said, I don't play with my food. Like, bro, you fucking moron, bro. You're going to get the ball back because we know I'm not going to be able to cook you every fucking possession because I will miss and you will never miss because all you got to do is just do your post hook. Nigga can't even let me get the ball one time. The greed, bro. They're not going to go away from the boosters. They're going to keep boosting all day. That's just how it goes. And because the system Thanks. now rewards them for cheating, so people will cheat. There always got to be some type of <laughs> thing in place to start to monitor people. And 2K, y'all need to monitor these boosters, y'all. Because Thanks. now these events are going to be irrelevant. Just call it what it is. We like, the game just came out, and the first two events are already in shambles. You gonna call a spade a spade. You know that's what we do here. Now let's continue on. Now Geo actually posted out. He said Walmart is having a sale of VC right now. If you play 2K23, I know you all need some VC. I know oh, it's expensive to do business in 2K. That's one of the things wow. I'll be with him here. $70 for the 450 version? Ah, damn. Shit, that's a deal. I ain't gonna lie. That's a deal. $70. So you save $30. Shit. Bro, you gotta talk about the VC thing. No, Bro, been talking about it. So I'm not gonna continue talking about it. It's gonna cost you a lot to do business in 2K. Case goes fast and smith. And if you want a discount of VC, they're actually selling, as you see right here, for the 70 bucks, $70, you're getting a 450 That's pack. a deal, dog. Now. I ain't gonna lie. This is usually, this usually goes for a hundred. Of course, your boy Ben bought that when the game <laughs> dropped. Now I'm damn near broke, but we're not gonna talk. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. 2K, I gotta admit it. I said I was gonna make one bill this year, but I fucked up on my first bill. I spent a hundred dollars on them. I had to come back and make another bill. I had to spend a hundred dollars. I wasn't enjoying that beer. I had to come back and make another beer. I just spent 400 already. But you gotta understand, I'm gonna get the money back from gaming. I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes because you know, you work, I work too. But you was out doing, you know, an actual label job, man, and $400 Come on, bro. Don't get out here and fuck around with all this shit. Think about the people that made all these glitch bills. If you can, re, re, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said, I, like, I can't play 2K like I used to. I know I'm doing something that is a drug constantly taken from me. The game constantly passing itself, fixing itself so that it can fuck up the bills that we make. Then they come out with, with a new method for the next season like every season in 2k22 was a new method of winning right like it was a new bill that needed to be made so it's like man i done spent 400 already already bro making bills and i only played 355 games and i just spent 400 dollars. come on dog don't make the mistake i'm making I'm gonna get the money back in these videos and on Twitch, you know, with the blessing of, of the people that support my content. And I'm grateful, you know, because it is a job and some people support me strong enough to hit that like button or the sub up on my Twitch or to hit that super chat on my YouTube, man. And I'm grateful and all the donation that the guys hit me with. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all enjoying my content enough. But for the ones like, for the kids, bro, man, don't fall down in this situation. That's why, I like, man, I, if I, I can't tell you to stop playing 2K because it's a great hobby. It's a great way to escape from things sometimes. But, man, try your best. Try your hardest. Talk to somebody before you make the decision about these bills. Talk to somebody that's valid. Don't just talk to niggas that out here to make a video. See, that's the thing a lot of y'all get caught up in. It's easy for YouTubers to sell you some bullshit because... 
They look at the hit that go public on the video. That revenue button green. And man, they don't give a fuck if you made that bill or not. I mean, they care if you make the bill, but if the bill gonna work for you, that's on you, bro. As long as you came and viewed it and hit that like button, I'm shit. I got the green. I got the money coming. So talk to somebody, man. Before, like if you know you don't play us play the way that they making the bill, man. Tweak the bill to your liking, man. Don't just make the bill for what somebody say and run with it. Look at the bill. Dissect it and say, okay, I like what I see, but I'm gonna change this and that. Like my boy God's meal gave me a good um blueprint on the bill. But I did not make it the way he had his because I don't play like that. So I tweaked it and now I got a bad motherfucking bill. I got a bill bill. Like for real, I got a bill bill right now. I I should I show y'all? Let me know if y'all want a YouTube video of my bill bill. Motherfucker, bad dog. I'm gonna have some video coming. I just ain't been. Let me know. Do y'all still want me to post 2K23 vids? Like content? Let me know, man. I got the vids. Just ain't been posting it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm shooting that bitch lights out. I got a bill, bill, dog. <laughs> For real, bro. I got a bill, dog. Let me know how y'all feel, man. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How did y'all feel about the mobile one? Was you able to play it? I was not sad day for me in, in the events, as they usually are. Boosters take over. The events don't work. An hour, two hours been a pass by. It's an hour left, and now it finally lets you play it. Fuck out of here, man. Great video, Brook, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button on his video and my video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all for enjoying the video, man. Bellow on the bellow on the bellow.